Have you ever wondered how every time you search for some information and get the exact answer you were looking for? Or you order something and get the exact right thing down to the right color and dimensions? Well, this involves many processes and steps that can go wrong at any given time. So then how is it running smoothly with so many different kinds of data? Data Engineering Pipeline and ETL These two work towards making data more consumable, but they differ from each other in many ways. Hello everyone and welcome to this video by Intellipart. This video focuses on the difference between Data Engineering Pipeline and ETL. Before we move forward with the video, please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates from us. So let's take a look at the agenda. Firstly, we have what is data engineering pipeline? Then what happens inside a data pipeline? After which we will see what exactly is ETL. Then why do we need ETL? Lastly, we'll come to the differences between data engineering pipeline and ETL. And then a simple conclusion. Now let's move on to our first agenda, which is what is data engineering pipeline? A data pipeline is a method for transferring data from one location, that is the source, to another such as a data warehouse. Data is optimized and modified along the journey, eventually reaching a stage where it can be examined and used to generate business insights. A data pipeline is basically the process of gathering, arranging and transporting data. Many of the manual processes required in processing and improving continuous data loads are now automated by modern data pipelines. This typically entails loading raw data into a staging table for temporary storage, modifying it, and then inserting it into the final reporting tables. Now let's move on to our next agenda, which is what happens inside our data pipeline. Not all data pipelines include data processing. Usually, the main goal is to use raw data that has been transferred from database sources and SaaS platforms to data warehouses. However, the data engineering pipeline's responsibilities frequently include processing or transforming the data in some way. This is due to the possibility that the raw data loaded from a source may not be accurate or useful. In order for it to be useful at its next node, it must be modified. The data engineering pipeline improves end-to-end -end speed by removing errors and thwarting bottlenecks or delays. Nevertheless, it is essential to clean data as soon as it is ingested. This is due to the fact that once false or implausible data is ingested into databases for analysis or used to train machine learning algorithms, it may take a long time to reverse engineer the entire procedure. Inside data pipelines, multiple data streams are simultaneously processed. Streaming or batch ingestion of the data is used. Consequently, the data pipeline works with any data source. The data destination is not specifically emphasized either. It isn't necessary to employ a data lake or data warehouse for storage. Now let's move on to our next agenda, which is what is ETL? Now ETL stands for Extract, Transform and Load. Data is extracted from various source systems using an ETL process, which then transforms the data by performing calculations, concatenations, etc., and loads the data into the data warehouse system. It can be tempting to believe that building a data warehouse only requires loading data from various sources into the database of the data warehouse. This is untrue and calls for a challenging ETL process. The ETL process is technically difficult and demands active participation from many stakeholders, including developers, analysts, testers, and top executives. Let's move on to our next agenda, which is, why do we need ETL? Now here we have listed plenty reasons. Let's take a look at them. Firstly, we have companies can use it to examine their business data and make important business decisions. Complex business questions that can be resolved by ETL, including cases that cannot be resolved by transactional databases. A data warehouse offers a central data store. ETL offers a way to transfer into a data warehouse from several sources. The data warehouse will automatically update when data sources change. 
A successful ETL system must be well designed and documented to ensure the success of a data warehouse project. Permit checking of data aggregation, transformation, and computational rules. Sample data comparison between the source and target systems is made possible by the ETL process. The ETL procedure can carry out intricate transformations and needs more space to store the data. Data migration into a data warehouse is aided by ETL. To maintain a unified, standardized system, convert to the various formats and kinds. Accessing and modifying source data before transferring it to the target database is made easy. ETL in a data warehouse provides the organization with rich historical context. Because it codifies and reuses without the requirement for technical expertise, it helps to increase productivity. Now we come to our main agenda, which is Data Engineering Pipeline versus ETL. Now, data pipelines and ETL are two distinct approaches of managing and structuring data, despite the fact that the terms are sometimes used interchangeably. Data extraction, transformation, and loading are performed during ETL processes. As opposed to this, data pipelines include all of the operations that are applied to data as it is transferred between systems. Data pipelines can require transformations at times, but they also might not. While both procedures are essential for transferring data from numerous sources to a single destination, data pipelines frequently operate in real time, while ETL pipelines run in batches. To clear up any misunderstandings regarding the two procedures' terminologies, let's take a look at the differences. Firstly, about data engineering pipeline. A data pipeline's main goal is to efficiently transfer data from sources like web applications and business processes to storage locations like data warehouses. The data pipeline's job is finished, even if no transformation is made to the data throughout this transfer operation. Additionally, the data loading stage does not always have to be the last in a data pipeline. Instead, a data pipeline can start new processes that can leverage the data included in the pipeline by triggering webhooks. Now let's take a look at ETL. Data must always be extracted, transformed, and then loaded into the intended destination system through an ETL. Following all three of the phases of extraction, transformation, and loading is essential to the operation because it must work in this specific order. Additionally, a data loading step always concludes ETL because the data must be stored in a data warehouse so that business intelligence tools may easily access it. Let's move on to our next difference. Data pipelines have a wide range of uses and are found in numerous sectors of the data-driven economy because they may be created by assembling any kind of transformational or real-time process that operates in any order. Also, simple data pipelines that don't require any complicated data transformations are used by data professionals that need quick analysis and real-time streams of data. For ETL, for BI specialists and data analysts, on the other hand, who must collect a huge sea of dispersed data in its raw form and deliver it all together as a single source of truth, ETL is of utmost importance. Your business team's tasks can be made simpler by centralizing the pertinent data so that they can readily access it in the format they need and produce intricate data visualizations. ETL can also free up your development team so they can focus on other important projects rather than spending all their time trying to find insights in fragmented client data. Let's move on to our next difference, which is your data pipeline can consume data either in batches or as real-time streams, which includes managing events as they happen, depending on the sub-processes involved. In the debate between data pipelines and ETL pipelines, this gives it the upper hand. Real-time data streaming involves processing data at a rate that can be controlled by the application or storage at the destination. Additionally, a straightforward data pipeline lets you view real-time data modifications. To send frequent data flow to their data warehouses or other systems, for instance, firms that work with sensor-based data construct data pipelines. Now for ETL. On the other hand, can typically 
only work with data batches. These batches can all be the same size and the ETL procedures are used on each batch separately. The most important thing to keep in mind is that all of the batches are prepared gradually and processed collectively in accordance with the pipeline's capability. A company's ETL, for instance, could gather data throughout the day and then conduct the transformation and loading operations all at once if it ran once every 12 hours. Now we come to our last difference, that is, in general, data pipelines are advantageous for businesses that need to transport their data as quickly and easily as feasible. These pipelines can offer a quick, low latency method of delivering consistent, well-structured data chunks for analysis. Data engineers are also adept at combining data from many sources and transferring it methodically to desired areas. An AWS data pipeline, for instance, enables you to freely transfer data between AWS on-premise data and other storage options. Let's now talk about ETL. For businesses that must collect the appropriate data, transform it into a format that is conducive to reporting and store it as a single source of truth, ETL is suitable. The benefits of this combined data for data analysis and data visualization follow. When using ETL technologies, developers can automate the tedious and difficult task of data transformation and concentrate on the development work. By doing this, development teams are able to focus their efforts in moving a firm ahead rather than becoming bogged down in daily data management tasks. And lastly, we come to the conclusion. Although both ETL and data pipelines are revolutionizing how organizations interact with their data, neither provides the same capabilities or services to enterprises. Using ETL means a set of operations, including data extraction, transformation, and loading, will be carried out. By utilizing a data pipeline, this denotes that the data will be moved across systems without necessarily being changed in the process. Therefore, despite the fact that the two names might be used interchangeably, they do not mean the same thing. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Just a quick info guys. If you want to make a career in data engineering, then IntelliPad provides an advanced certification in data engineering associated with MIT. This course is designed to upskill and land your dream job.